My story begins in 2020 when I visited Tanzania, the country where I met this extraordinary family of five. The day in Tanzania begins early in the morning as the parents, Darweshi and Amina, wake up to start their day. They live in a small, dilapidated house with their three children. The family shares a single room, which serves as their living, sleeping and cooking space. Darveshi, the father works in agriculture as a farmer, earning an income of $30 per month for the whole family. However, his income is barely enough to cover their basic needs, let alone afford education expenses for their children. He often struggles to find consistent work, which further adds to their financial difficulties. Amina, the mother, takes care of the household chores. She cooks meals on a small charcoal stove, using whatever ingredients they can afford. The family's meals mainly consist of inexpensive staples like maize, beans and rice. Nutritious foods like fruits, vegetables and meat are rare luxuries that they can't afford on a regular basis. Instead of going to school, the children spend their days helping their parents with work or doing odd jobs in the neighborhood to earn some extra money. They collect firewood, fetch water or run errands for neighbors in exchange for a small amount of money. They do their best to contribute to the family's income, which means they miss out on a formal education. Throughout the day, the family faces numerous challenges due to the limited resources. They often have to make difficult choices between buying food or paying for other essential expenses. Despite their financial hardships, they strive to create a loving and supportive environment for their children emphasizing the value of education and the importance of hard work. Walking through everyday life with a big smiles on their faces, deeply appreciating all of the small and beautiful things around them. This is also the reason why I fell in love with the people and decided to stay and take some steps to fulfill the children's dreams of quality education for their future. Tanzania has significantly expanded school enrollment in recent years, especially among girls. However, 3.2 million children aged 7 to 17 are out of school, of which 1.2 million have never attended. The net secondary enrollment rate is only 27%. I knew that I was not born as a change maker. But I knew it's something you become when you see a problem, then dare to become part of the solution. And that's why I joined an initiative where we fight together for families and children like these. I believe that education is a fundamental right that every child deserves, regardless of their background or circumstances. However, access to education still remains a challenge for many children especially in these rural areas. That's why in Santa Foundation we decided to start with a school construction to be able to provide quality education for the children. Step by step, day by day, our school started to grow. And as an old Tanzanian proverb states, little by little, a little becomes a lot. In July 2022, we opened a completely new, fully equipped facility where we can guide many children to a brighter future through our educational programs and English classes. The cost to study English in language centers in cities or to hire tutors is not affordable to people in difficult circumstances. In the school, we developed the Free English Class Project with four programs in Tanzania. Direct English Teaching Program, Volunteer Exchange Program, 
lunch service program and water management program. With volunteer exchange program, we created a system where we accept international volunteers. And with that, I've become one of the international volunteers teaching at the school myself. At the lunch service program at school, we currently provide meals for 320 students. Some students before this program unfortunately have spent eight hours at school with no food due to the poor conditions of their parents. Since January 2023, students have had lunch every day and we can observe improvement in their class performance, class attendance and their health condition. With the water management program, we provide clean water to the school by pumping water from the well to the tanks every week. As before this program, the students were using dirty water from a small river which was located near the school. With this completed mission, I finally felt my purpose in life. And because education became my passion, I decided to start a new educational project in the Czech Republic. It was a dream of mine to start my foundation in my homeland. Pishko Foundation focuses on providing several educational programs, not only for children, but also for mentally disabled people. With the power and visibility of the Miss Czech Republic, I have organized fundraising events to support these activities. In the foundation, we focus on educational classes to empower young teens to see their potential through self and emotional awareness, to reach their personal goals and to find their purpose in life. Especially with disabled people who may feel left behind, it is very important to feel their sense of purpose because I believe that purpose is the happiness and meaning of our lives. Thanks to the collected money, craftsmanship classes, mental health and self and emotional awareness classes are being provided in our foundation. And I couldn't be happier helping other people reach their purpose in life. Don't forget that we should never underestimate the difference we can make in the lives of other people, however small it may seem. Helping one person may not change the world, but it can change the world of one person forever.